Today I have come to a small pool in Tong Pa Pum National Park. Some interesting trees uh, growing around the edge, including some fig trees. I saw a trail of red ants uh, going up a, a stick and followed it to come across a hapless caterpillar which had fallen into their clutches in which they were slowly pulling along the branch, presumably back to their nest. In the pool itself, there were several species of tadpole, the most prevalent of which was a, a kind I'd never seen before, with a fairly translucent body and a red tail. Absolutely wonderful. Drifting among the red-tailed types was another species that was uh, somewhat larger and had a black marking through the tail. Then in addition to these, there was a, another kind that swam upside down at the surface of the pool and in this way was able to skim food items from the surface of the water. I had hoped to spend a lot more time filming here. There were many other things to see. But in the end, the rain won out and I had to give it up for the day. This young calf missing the end of its trunk and the end of its tail caught our hearts over six months ago and developed quite a lot of concern. It was a real treat to see her again. A very attentive mother guiding her through her life. The calf is still at an age where it's very heavily reliant on the milk that she provides and her condition has not deteriorated at all. The herd moved past us and headed towards the edge of Maya Pan, an area where elephants have been digging and breaking up a lot of the sand going for the roots of the grass. This does present a little bit of a problem for that small elephant and you can see how it almost gets onto her elbows on, on the ground and has to bring its mouth to literally bite the grass. It doesn't have the trunk to strip it. It's quite a humbling thing to see how attentive the parents and other individuals are with this young calf. It has been documented that the adults will break branches and drop them to the ground just to allow the calf to access them himself. It's amazing how the cycles and the seasons pull these herds back along the same paths. It'd be great over the years if we can follow her and see how she grows. Depending on where they live, these jackals may ingest very high proportions of insects in their diet and this one certainly seemed to be hunting for them. He would trot across the open plain and suddenly stop, tilt his head left and right, his huge ears directioned in every way. 
it must be a fantastic thing to have directional ears. When it hears a scratching underground, it, there's such focus in, in the face and the concentration. You can see the ears are, are directioned completely forward and it changes the tilt of its head to try and triangulate the scratching underground. It seems quite successful in its hunting. Uh, most of the diggings that, it's, that it does result in some morsel of food, a grub or perhaps even ants. And you can see at one point it's got a little bit more than it bargained for. Whatever it's chasing has bitten it back and he bites with his teeth, trying to dislodge the stinging on his legs and on his face, but keeps going for it. Keeps putting his nose back down, trying to bite whatever is attacking him back. It's been an absolute pleasure spending the afternoon with this foxy little canine. This beautifully shaped euphorbia bush growing on the mountain slopes of the Namaqua National Park is eaten by Klipspringer and by Stienbuck. And here delicately picking its way through the foliage, a beautiful female Stienbuck. alert to everything around her, not seeing us yet. What a delicate little antelope this is, every movement. Such a fine little creature, nose questing, scenting the air, huge eyes, but more than anything those extremely large ears and so beautifully shaped. She's following her own scent, a trail she marks with the glands between each hoof. And as she walks, she leaves a scent, so she will always follow her own trail. Back to this little young one. And starving too, by the looks of it, being holed up all day in thick cover while the mother animal has been out to forage. And as she returns, the little one emerges and wastes no time in getting to the milk. Mm -hmm.